five-phase solution. Super excited to finally unveil a little bit more behind the technology of our five-phase solution. This is truly one assay with dual insights. We offer a complete end-to-end -end workflow starting with library prep. There is one extra step added as an enzymatic step in the library prep and following by sequencing and a complete um, multi-mix analysis powered by Dragon that allows to simultaneously detect methylation profiling and genetic, genetic variants. And I think that is key. So the key advantage of our method, which has been thanks to efforts in bioinformatics and protein engineering, is that we're able to maintain genetic diversity, sorry, library diversity, uh, by only targeting the methylated Cs in the genome. By doing that, we're able to call variants, single nucleotide variants, and other variants, and it's compatible with all our platforms. Using the integrated dragon analysis, performing methylation-aware alignment, and variant detection and methylation calling, we can deliver high-accuracy dual outputs. And I'm going to share a little bit of data in the next slide. So our five-phase technology delivers both high-accuracy methylation detection. And you can see that on the plot on the far left for you, yes, far left, where we have two controls, an unmethylated and an unmethylated control, and the five-base solution has performance that is equivalent to the gold standards, enzymatic and bisulfide methods. And targeting only the methylated Cs in the genome, like I said before, allows, allows us to provide genetic variant detection that is vastly superior to anything that exists on market today, and it's on par with uh, standard whole genome sequencing methods. And you can see that on the plot on the middle. And those two things are great, but the beauty of it is when you put it all together in Dragon, you're able to do this, bring those dual omics insights. And in the example that I have there on the further right, you can see that you're able to capture interrelated effects, such as whether a variant is unmethylated and active or inactive. So you can see that in there. I think that is pretty remarkable. We believe that this method can replace traditional whole genome um, sequencing because it brings a whole extra layer of information into traditional whole genome. <laughs>